Hi guys, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. I'm the Savage Beast Mickey Mike, let's do this. Alright, so... Well... Uh... No matter how many times I play this, I never master this. Mine Palace. So hard. All right, let's check the case book. I think with this mine palace, uh, somewhere along the line, I messed up. Because it doesn't seem to work. Let me question the guy again. Something's missing. Do something about it, Holmes. I, I did not do it, you know that. Do something about it, Holmes. I, I did not do it, you know that. Well, this one is done. Very much. So, uh, all right, maybe this one will contribute to the investigation. See, uh, new mine palace uh, clue. All right. So I didn't do that uh, deliberately, but uh, apparently I managed to add something up in this mine palace. All right. I just did that by a fluke. By fluke, I mean. Luck. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, How the hell am I gonna do that? Uh, so I gotta get uh, Sherlock Holmes to uh, get the police to arrest uh, the medium. I think. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. So he got uh, some kind of... Sorry, I can't speak. He got some kind of alibi. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Uh, which one, man? The scratches. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? 
It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes. I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us. Stole all our money and disappeared. Leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Uh. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. All right. So, the first uh, case is off. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm, I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. All right, so Ghost of the Past case completed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue with the next case of Sherlock Holmes uh, in my next walkthrough video. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.